What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast. My name is Taylor McLean, and today we're taking a look back at every touchdown that Deshaun Watson scored for the Houston Texans in the 2020 season. And disclaimer, we're setting aside Deshaun Watson as a human being. It's still at the time I'm recording this, hasn't come out with this suspension. He has been traded to the Cleveland Browns, however. So I thought it'd be important to take a look back at Deshaun Watson here and see why we're going through all of this. And whatever happens, happens. But Deshaun, the football player here, is giving you a taste of why he is such a good quarterback in the NFL, especially in this day and age. Obviously, a lot of these plays are the plays where he got protection. But in this year with the Houston Texans, the protection was lacking a good deal. And Deshaun, to his credit, was doing everything he could possibly do to keep the Texans into any of these games at all. He was dip, ducking, and dodging defensive linemen at any given time and was really using his legs to create more time in the pocket. And that's one of the big things. It's not just that he has the ability to run like a deer while he's out there and looks really good in space with long strides. That that certainly is a part of it. But it's also just like right here where he's creating that extra time. He's creating time that the defensive backs have to cover that they, they you know simply can't cover that long. And that allows guys to get deep. And then he gives you a taste right here of the long accuracy that goes with it. So you've got a guy that can move around the pocket the way he does punish a defense when they don't cover him to run, and then while he's on the run, make accurate throws to guys. Specifically, like right there where he hits the guy in the end zone. Of course, they're all going to the end zone, but you get the gist here. And I wanted to really highlight the mobility, but it's not just the mobility. It's the fact that he's a complete quarterback. You see that he's able to stand in the pocket and make reads. And when you're able to put that part together with the mobility to the outside and the ability to make defenses play with his legs, I mean, it's it's just a complete situation. And that's what you're trying to create for your offense is have a guy that no matter what the defense gives you, you're able to take that and do something with it. And Deshaun can do all of those things. He can work the deep parts of the field. He can see over the line to work the middle parts of the field. He just creates so much pressure on a defense. I mean, are you going to spy him? Even if you get up there to tackle him, he's such a big guy that he's hard to bring down. And, you know, with the big strides, he covers a lot more ground than I think people realize. So it kind of makes him deceptively fast in that way. And then, of course, you're seeing here on this video, because it's all the touchdowns, that he's able to create pressure in the red zone because of his threat to run and pass that really creates problems for the defense. And you add that to Nick Chubb in the running game, and I think that Browns could definitely have something there. Because I definitely like the scheme that the Browns have been running, and I feel like they've been able to create opportunities for their players which admittedly kind of feels like the inverse of what was going on for the Texans. Make no mistake, Deshaun had put this whole team on his shoulders, and there's just so many instances just like that play right there where he's just having to avoid large men coming at him at full speed just because the Texans line you know, couldn't hold up. They just blocked seven guys right there to create that scenario. I mean, that's the kind of things that we're talking about with this Texans team. And I really harp on this when it comes to quarterback videos a lot of the time when I see that these quarterbacks have a lot more to offer than their team is able to offer offensively because people heap all of the blame or all of the praise on the quarterback. So I really felt like in this season for Deshaun, he really did more than the record you know gave him credit for. And I felt like he was really undervalued in that season. And then... Everything happened, and we're at this point where Cleveland's taking this risk here to try and bring him in because this is what he can bring to the Cleveland offense. And if you can add a quarterback that is complete in the way that Deshaun Watson is complete to what Cleveland has right now, I think we're talking about a winning formula. I think it's going to unlock a ton of things for the Cleveland offense. The question is, can they get him on the field and what happens? Only time will tell.